I wake up, first thing I do, I go to the Calm app and I meditate for 10 minutes. I try to do that every single morning. And then I pray and I don't pray not to get hurt that day, but I pray for gratitude. I pray, thank you God for giving me every talent that I have to be successful in this world and take care of my family. And please give me the motivation to continue doing this and continue facing the pressure and stay strong so that I can continue making an impact in this sport. My name is Fabi Loretta. I'm 22 years old, born and raised in Miami, Florida, and I'm a Bellator MMA flyweight. I'm doing a docu-series for this fight because I feel like no one's seen my transformation from what I go through in my fight camp. Five weeks, let's get that other knockout. Four and oh, baby. So I'm about to spark and the girl she's fighting is like my size and a righty and kind of similar so I'm helping her from her camp and then my sparring starts. I think we're going to do three rounds. When I first started here, she was the first person I sparred and now I'm helping her from her camp and she helps me, she teaches me judo and I kick her. <laughs> you know, she learns how to react to my kicks and I learn how to defend the sweeps and the takedowns so it works. Everyone knows this one. I got into fighting because my father has been a grandmaster in Taekwondo and he's owned a school in Miami for 35 years. So basically, I was born into the sport. I know their options. Fighting is in my blood. My mom was pregnant with me while she was taking her black belt test, while she was dating my father. So basically, I started before I was even born. They put me on the mat at two years old already. I learned how to walk on the mat. I've been fighting ever since. Some of the earliest memories would be just fighting all the boys in my dad's gym. I come from a family where we're all black belts and we're all martial artists. My father's an eighth den. Grandmaster in Taekwondo. My mom is a first degree black belt. I'm a fourth degree master in Taekwondo. My sister Natalie is a fourth degree as well. And my little sister is a second down in Taekwondo as well. Four years ago, I decided to make the decision to move into MMA and mix my shorts and start a whole new journey of my life. What I'm most proud of is my Cuban heritage. I am the only or one of the only female Cuban fighters fighting right now. And I was born and raised in Miami, so I feel like being Cuban and being a family that came from immigrants, you know, I wear it on my chest to represent our culture, represent what Miami is about, and the way I was raised. So I haven't slept, but I went to train and I feel good. Ready to go. How's my rest? Man. Five weeks, she's ready. You've seen the takedowns. You've seen the takedown defense. You've seen the underhooks. You've seen the duck unders. You've seen it all. Okay, so I finished sparring, and then Ariana Lipsky comes in. She's like, Valerie, someone left flowers in your car. I go, what do you mean? So as I'm walking out right now, there's flowers. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god! And there's a note! For the most gorgeous fighter and the most gorgeous woman on earth, from your biggest fan, God bless you! So this is how MI sparring is. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>